Hey there, YouTuber. So, if you uh, watch my channel, you know how much I hate these things, these wires. They come from the case to the motherboard, um, including the uh, the speaker one, which I, at the time, don't even install. But uh, this is, um, these are always fun, right? Because when you're in there, and uh, they actually go this spot on my motherboard um, you can't always uh, read what it says I've got this toy here which I uh, suggest uh, you get if you're going to be in the get into computer building um, this thing you know helps you know some of your motherboards I don't know if you guys can see that through there but um, some of your motherboards you know it's it's marked on the motherboard which one is which and as many of these as I've done you would think that I would have it uh, memorized this one though you see if you can just barely see it so it's on the outside so unless you were to assemble these before you put them in the case it does you actually no good right but you want to route those these cables through um, you know, possibly the uh, the other side panel, uh, maybe some along the structure and tie it down so it's not floating out in space. You know, depending on how you decide to uh, clean up your cables. But now, one thing that you ought to look into getting uh, is this little doohickey here. Gigabyte has these. I think some other people have it. Um, there you go. So basically you're going to snap in all of those connectors and in one solid piece then it will go down in there. Uh, it's something, you know, I don't, I get these occasionally in the cases and half the time I set them aside just because I'm so used to doing things my way. But uh, yeah, in this case we're actually going to use it and uh, we will make the best of it. So. I'm going to wrap my uh, cables around the side and then we will uh, we'll have those cables accessible and we will put them together. Alright, so I have uh, rerouted the cables and uh, I'm going to eventually tie these off, but at least for this part uh, it's good to have them somewhat slack. So you see there's our gizmo and it pretty much tells you, you know, um, it tells you each one, so you got your power LED, plus minus, so uh, that is helpful. And the reset switch is in there, and your hard drive. Now on the other side, you've got your speaker, power LED, plus minus, power. So... Never mind this this guy here. So we're going to use um, if I can even read these HD for the hard drive light reset switch. This power LED and the power button there, and then plug in the speaker button. So We are going to grab our reset switch and it should face out on the back wall. If they were going in the case, they always, the print always faces out. Um, this is where, this is where it's good to have your magnifying glass so I can cheat and go, oh, okay, yeah, HD reset switch is on the outside and um, you know of course if you have the manual you don't need to worry about that right but gigabytes manuals are usually so bad so maybe through all the complaining they have finally gotten that squared away so yeah this guy goes in here and uh Not the easiest thing to get these in though. Alright, so um, I got that in there. 
basically, you know, it does take, I don't know if, if it's the case or the gigabyte thing here or the case connectors. They're making life a little harder, but that's in there. You want to make sure it's seated good, right? Because when those pins come up from the motherboard, they need to be in there good. All right, next is the reset switch right next to it. And I want to make sure that gets in there nice and tight and right next to it even snaps in. Now we can go to the other side and we want the print to face in the same direction. There's your uh, power switch there. There we go. So I don't know if it's me getting old, but uh, I'm having to earn this time with this today. All right, so there's power uh, power LED, plus minus. So we'll go ahead and put the plus in first. And then it'll be a nice little gap there, hopefully, to get the negative in. And... Hopefully we'll get that in there without breaking something. So for what it's worth, and it's not worth much, <laughs> I think it would have been easier, it may be easier to just use the case connector, to be honest with you. Um, Alright, so the um, secret to getting these in is doing both at the same time. There you go. Alright, so then we've got our uh, speaker, plus minus, and let's see, that guy. This one should probably go in there easier. There we go. All right, so we're good to go there. Now all you have to do, folks, is snap that in facing out. And of course, there's no way to do this where you can actually see it. And there we go, it's in. At least I hope it's in. We'll find out shortly if it doesn't work. And that's uh, that's basically how you get those pins in using your Gigabyte G connector right there. Uh, I didn't even look at the instructions, but there you go. They, uh, they barely show you anything in the instructions. Not real helpful, but uh, that, uh, you know... Like I always complain about, trying to do those outside the case, much easier when uh, I like to do the motherboard sometimes out of the case and uh, then put it in here. But uh, that is definitely a lot easier um, with the connector, when you, especially when you can't see it. But you can see it when it's out of the case, right? So thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.